What's going on everybody? It's your boy Al King. This is Black Widow. Say hey Black Widow. Black Widow says hey y'all and guys ain't your boy getting stronger been out there hitting that gym and everything. Oh man I've been showing out lately y'all but guys got another banger for y'all today. I saw this article here and guys you know it might be a, a breath of fresh air for the MCU at long last. It might just be. But I'm gonna pull up this portion here of the article. This article here is by Men's Journal. And basically, guys, Bob Ar no, Bob Iger, he's stepping in and he's like, hey y'all, we finna make a turnaround with the MCU. He's basically saying, like, hey, you know, we're gonna stop focusing so much on quite quantity, and we're gonna start focusing on quality. Which, yes, which we really need. I don't mind waiting a few years for a MCU movie. You know, I want them to be good. I want it to be like the golden days of back when we had like the Avengers, Avengers, um, you know, Infinity War, you know, even uh, Age of Ultron, you know, looking back, even though I didn't like Age of Ultron a lot at first, over time it grew on me, but you know, those are like the golden ages of, you know, like the MCU. And then on top of that, you know, all the way up to Endgame, that's when everything started to just fall off. and. Heck, I would even argue <laughs> Black Widow is better than a lot of these newer MCU movies. I'm keeping it real with y'all, but man, you know, it's crazy how much this franchise just fell off. And we're going to see what happened with Bob Iger. Hopefully, he makes some big changes. Hopefully, you know, he gets things done. And yeah, you know, we get more quality MCU Marvel films because we are in dire need for them for sure because right now this crap we got now is not nah it, it ain't hitting it and man it's crazy too because like whenever I do hop on Disney Plus I'm always watching older Marvel stuff like all the time I'm just like if I'm gonna put on Marvel it's like all the old stuff you know like it's just nostalgia it's just like man you know I miss the good old days of Marvel so hopefully Bob Iger he's stepping in there he can get it right um, really sat down and talked to Kevin Feige, you know, like, I, because Kevin Feige, you know, like, yeah, he can deliver us some great stuff, but at the end of the day, um, if I was Bob Iger, I got to see where his mindset's at. I got to see where all the Marvel Studios, all the heads up there, you know, everybody's out there pro helping producing all these films. I got to see where their head's at, their mindset, and all that stuff, because it is a shame that Marvel has fell off this bad. Like, it's, it's ridiculous, you know, like, literally it's been what, like a, I mean, I can see if it went through maybe like a year, maybe a couple of years of falling off, but this has been going on, what, you know, because Endgame came out, let me think, 20, 2019, so y'all had, well, I know 2020 was, you know, set everything back, but still, y'all should have made a comeback by this time, it's almost, well, it, yeah, it's 2024, y'all, like, come on, tell me, you really telling me we can't get some decent MCU films? It's ridiculous, guys. Ain't that right, Black Widow? Even Black Widow thinks this is ridiculous, guys. You know, I'm no. We about ready to throw her in the multiverse. You know, I mean, I mean, we do need a new Black Widow at this point. So, here we go. <laughs> Kevin Feige, we got a new Black Widow here. But also, bring your boy into the MCU as well. I mean, your boy is getting that superhero physique coming in. I mean, like, I, I, I don't mean to flex too often, but um, uh, yeah. And plus, I'm an actor, so um. If there is a voting system and you can throw your boy in the MCU, hey, um, your boy Al King is ready. But anyway, yeah, guys, this is really all I just want to touch on today. I just want to ramble. But yeah, guys, what do you guys think about this? Is Bob Iger, is he going to save the MCU? Will the MCU get better? Or is it just a lost cause? Has it fell off? Is it 100% dead? I don't think it's dead, but, you know, I, I think it can come back. But it really just comes down to Disney starting to listen to people, listen to the fans. You know, we've been saying what we want for years and yeah, just hasn't got it. And really take a look back at your older films and look back and be like, you know, what really made people to go watch those films? Because I always said, you know, looking at the new Marvel, you know, films now, just in general, not even just the MCU, but everybody else, a lot of them are missing that wow factor. I haven't got that wow factor since like Spider-Man, like Into the Spider-Verse, Across the Spider-Verse. Those films gave me that wow factor and I wasn't even expecting it from uh, like a more, you know, kids animated type of film. I was not expecting that. 
but I got that wow factor from that, but not even really much from the live action films. That's a problem, Marvel Studios. Y'all gotta fix that. But that's all I gotta say, guys. It's your boy Al King with Storm Dagger Films. Like and subscribe, share. We'll be catching y'all on the next one. Black Widow says bye. See y'all later, y'all. Thank you.